do you want affordable original and good quality K-pop merch, but can't find a good store? Then Cockadive is a place for you. Cockadive is all about K-pop albums and goods. From albums and light sticks to plushes and photo cards. You will find everything related to your favorite Korean artist at cockadive.com. They have express worldwide shipping. And guess what? Everything is official. Wow. You can order from cockadive.com right now by clicking the link in the description box below. Use the code BANGTAN to get 10% off of your first purchase. Now let's get on with the video. Hello again my gorgeous darlings. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been such a long time since I did one of these comeback spoiler videos. If any of y'all don't know, I used to make these kinds of videos before. They're all unfortunately deleted now because of copyright issues. Anyways so today I will be talking about everything we know about Rose Solo. I made some theories and found some spoilers that they possibly gave. So let's get on with the video. So as we all know, YG has been postponing Rose Solo since 2018. Their company has been constantly lying straight through their yellow teeth regarding Rose Solo, and we kept believing them. Like we all have been waiting for an official announcement regarding her solo plans for years and guess what? Our prayers have been heard. We finally got an announcement. On the 30th of December, NewsN posted an article regarding not only Rose, but Lisa and Jesus solos as well. I will not be talking about Lisa and Jesus solos, because they are topics to discuss in another video. Anyways according to the article, YG Entertainment said to NewsN, plan to release the solo songs of Rose, Lisa, and Jesus in sequences planned. The members are currently getting ready to shoot their music videos. So I assume everything is done in Rose's case and only the music video filming is left which will hopefully be done pretty soon. Now in the article it was given that Rose will be filming her MV in mid-January which is right around the corner. So I guess we will get the first teaser poster during the end of this month or the starting of February. I think the solo will hopefully be a mini album as promised. I mean we didn't wait for just one song with a week of promotion and back to the dungeon. So I think we will get a mini album with 4 to 5 songs. I feel like the solo will be in mid February. I'm pretty sure it will be in February, but just in case YG goes crazy again it can be postponed. But I feel like it will be released in the first quarter of 2021 that is from January to March for sure. Now that I said everything I wanted to say, let's jump into the spoilers. Now I don't really confirm these are spoilers given by them, but just me being Day Lulu and my clown outfit. Number 1. The Solo Artist Brand. Now on the 28th of December, fans saw that Rose now has a separate brand on Spotify. Yes she did have a brand before, but this one is a different one, and is also officially tagged in her pre-debut collaboration with G-Dragon in a song called Without You. Which confirms it's legit, and also means the solo really is coming. Spoiler numero 2. Blinks have noticed something similar in all of her recent Instagram stories. It is that she is often seen in the Black Label studio. So she's probably practicing for her solo. Or maybe giving final touches for her mini album. Spoiler numero 3. Her hair was pink during the lovesick girl zero and slowly the pink in her hair started to fade leaving a weird pinkish blonde tone with black roots in her hair. But recently her hair is perfect blonde and she even got her roots done. Yes I know it's not a very different color, but she probably bleached her hair for a different color. At this point I won't even expect black rosé. I mean it's her choice. Spoiler numero 4. Recently Rosé posted a story captioned you wish. This is a very day lulu one, but I really think you wish has to do something with her solo. I mean why would she randomly be in the black label studio and post a story captioned you wish. Please don't come at me when her title is revealed and it is not title you wish. Ha 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 ha. Spoiler numero 5. 
Now this spoiler is very recent and this happened after YG announced her solo plans. In a recent fan, meet a fan asked Rose to give us a spoiler about her solo, and she said this. I don't think that will get copyrighted, but if YouTube decided to take down that video part that I just showed you'll then don't worry she just hummed a little tune. You can look for it on Twitter. If that clip is not deleted then you're lucky. Also on that same day a fan asked her if she took part in writing the song. I mean she didn't directly tell us, but she didn't deny it. She simply said I don't think I can reveal that. So we are getting producer Rosé very soon, and I can't believe it. Spoiler numero 6. Leaked filming photos. Photos taken at Rosé's music video filming set have been apparently posted on Instagram by JWorld which is a Korean company specializing in vehicles. The pictures posted include a picture of costumes like shoes dresses, a picture of a limo and a picture of a banner that says Carol which fans think is the title of her solo song. Nothing is confirmed, but a lot of it just makes sense. The captions of these posts included hashtag Blackpink Rose and hashtag music video. Okay so that is all for this video. I don't confirm all of the things I said. I just told y'all what I think will happen regarding Rose solo. Let's just wait for the teasers. Okay then thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you want to. I'll see you guys in my next video. Tiddles. Bitch, none and so